This is Sikihor, an enchanted beautiful island in the Philippines that easily became one of our favorite places in the world. In this four part series, we will go around this island visiting hidden waterfalls, pristine underwater worlds and stunning beaches. So come join us on our journey to Sikihor and let's explore Sikihor together. Okay, now we got ourselves the a cool bike. Are you happy about my choice? <laughs> Sikihor is not in any way a huge island, though it is totally recommended to rent a motorcycle here. And if you're worrying about your safety, its roads are in a very good condition in our opinion, and the traffic is minimal as well. So it's one of the safer islands to explore on a motorcycle. Our accommodation at Sikihor was Makabalo, a resort situated at the hills of San Juan. Despite being rather affordable, the room we went with felt pretty premium. Look at this stunning view facing west, so you will even get to see the sunset. And a nice infinity pool as well. And this is also located in uh, San Juan, which is not so far from the port and it's also a kind of a town or tourist town so you have some accommodations at least and uh, amenities that will make it easier for you to say you know get food and then buy uh, things for tourism right now uh, May are you gonna have food <laughs> she's so hungry well I'm really looking forward to this day in Sikihor the drive here was beautiful it was uh, actually what I imagined how Sikihor was going to be dense forest it's not super big, it's about the size of uh, Tablas in uh, Romblon, so we have an idea of how big it is. But we're going to at least try to go around in the popular, maybe not so heard of places on our stay here. So, but for now, we're gonna enjoy food and uh, also enjoy the view here before we eventually see if we can get to some of the nice beaches in nearby. It's not going to do a very uh, hectic day today, it's gonna be quite laid back. Okay, so now the fun part starts. Now we're going to do exploration. After we've done uh, maybe a two hour nap or something. Yeah, mm. yeah you. <laughs> First stop is going to be Lugnason Falls. There's also, what's it called again? Tu Tubod. Tubod Beach, Beach. Which is very near here also. Nice to snorkel. Snor yeah, there's a marine sanctuary there. So it's going to be a nice spot to do yeah, some snorkeling. Yeah, but nice. Why did the chicken cross the road? Huh? Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> oh, yeah. Say mong nalan. I'm Paul. Paul. Paul okay. Dialas. Okay. Uh, he is our guide. Oi, that's a big worm. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my guys. <laughs> Welcome to my guys. <laughs> Okay, there is actually a swing here that you can jump from. That's what I'm going to do now. I, I want to see the video. Wow. I just headbutted into the water. Oh, I didn't really get that one that you landed on the face. Oh, really? It's okay. I don't think nobody wants to see it. I'm going to try one more time then, when I have recovered. Falls. Cool set of waterfall over there. Kind of hazardous if you don't know what you're doing. But, Kuya, um, Unsay Mong Alan? Paul! Paul! I have to repeat it two times. Paul. But if you have guys like Paul with you, you're gonna be safe. There's actually a 30 minute hike as well that you can do, according to Paul. But we're not gonna do that today. Uh, May and me are not really in the we don't really have the energy for that right now, for some reason, so we're gonna do that next time. With Paul again. He will show us next time. Come here, okay? 
Next and last is Tubod Beach, famously featuring a marine sanctuary that is totally recommended to snorkel through. Not much footage of the beach, sadly I, uh, I forgot to set my Nikon to video mode. Nonetheless, the sand is comparable to the white beach in Barakai and the sanctuary scattered with life. And what makes it so great is that you can simply just enter the beach and go snorkeling. That is, uh, after you pay the fees. But I've never seen a wood this well preserved near the shore. So Sikiho has done a great job in preserving the pristine underwater beauty. Eventually we came across this fella right here, a yellow lip sea crate which are incredibly poisonous. But don't worry about us, these snakes are very passive. And you can clearly see that this one is in no kind of distress at all, being rather comfortable around us. Then it began pouring down and our stuff was exposed to the rain at the beach so we had to hurry back. Oh nice weather mate. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oi, my snellas. Oops. That changed very quickly. We were actually outside diving for the that uh, sea snake and then suddenly it started pouring down. <laughs> okay. Bye bye, Juan de la Cruz. Hi. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. His, uh, his real name is Michael. His nickname is Juan de la Cruz. Oh, it's been a. Uh, oh, shit. It's very hectic now. But uh, yeah, we are. Uh, when. Um, bye bye. Ay ay Where was I? Shit. So when we arrived, I mean, when we, so when we were diving, with the sea snake, suddenly it started to rain, pouring down a lot. So I had to hurry to get the stuff on in cover. We have to go home now, of course. Mostly because the weather is not really optimal for being outside anymore. But it's raining so much. Wow. And it's been raining for really long now as well. The weather is so unstable here in Philippines. It's insane. But it's still beautiful. Oh, we're so wet now. I really hope nothing will break. Well, now we just need to hurry back into shelter. I'm not gonna wear my helmet. Oh. And uh, let's see if we get home safely at least. Beautiful weather here in Sikihor. <laughs> to be honest, I quite enjoy it. It's actually very nice. Uh, once in a while you need a shower, especially considering it was super, super warm earlier today. Now it's quite comfortable to have a bit of a shower. I mean, it's not the optimal weather to be outside with, but considering if you've been outside for a while now and sweating, it's good to have this kind of cold weather right now. Oh, oh yeah. Good? Oh yeah, it's warm. This is actually so good. It's actually <laughs> you almost drowned. <laughs> if you didn't know, May still cannot swim. Huh? If she has a snorkel, she can swim, but she cannot swim out without. I was actually planning to fly a drone to see the sunset, but it seems like that will not be possible, considering of the weather. Unfortunately, I don't care though. This is actually the kind of weather. I really like uh, not all the time, but if it's gonna rain, especially with this kind of uh, scenery, it's so good to uh, have a bit of rain once in a while. As long as it's warm in the pool. Huh? As long as it's warm in the pool. Yeah, warm in the pool. I really, I really hope the microphone is working well. Oh. <laughs> huh? See? Wow, you're managing to swim. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, like that. Very good. See? <laughs> <You're drowning>. <laughs> <laughs> so if you like this video, give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you're new. And uh, also follow me on Instagram. Hope to see you in the next adventure because I really love Sikihor. It's a very nice island. <laughs>